Yeah, guys, in case you're wondering where this, you know, 671, uh, the 71 business derived from, it's, you know, if we, if we go back, it just means that um, it was on six, it was on a six cylinder diesel motor at 71 cubic inches per cylinder, right? And that's where everything derived from. So, you know, we, we, if you, if you go to the 8V series, some of those old diesels ran two of these back to back on those massive industrial diesel, uh, engines. And, you know, um, it's just the same thing. It just means, um, uh, there was, you know, eight cylinders at 71 cubic inches each, right? And if we jump onto the, you know, 92 stuff, it just means that there was that many cylinders, you know, say, let's say six or eight 92 series blowers, there were 92 cubic inches per cylinder. And that's where that term derived from, right? And the way um, these things are based on flow, or even, you know, your traditional 671s like this. Um, you know, it's simple, 671. So there's six cylinders at 71 cubic inches per cylinder, okay? And you just do six times 71, and that's the cubic inch that this flows per revolution. That's how, you know, they're, they're rated. Well, sorta, to be honest. So, you know, if we do that math, you know, they say that um, the 671 blower flows around 426 um, cubic inches per revolution, you know. And if we go back to the, you know, 871, that flows more like, you know, the high 400s or 500 plus cubic inches per revolution. And if we go to, even though that's a 6V71, it doesn't work out because it's shorter rotors. But they say these um, 6V71s flow 327 uh, cubic inches per revolution. And, you know, that's just, it is what it is, you know, with these um, roots uh, style blowers. So I just want to jump back on the 6V71 series blower for a second. And a lot of people may not know this, but this, the, the V series 71 in the 6 back in the day was very popular as far as like street hot rodding and street use and, and you know, even some drag use so along with the, the 8 V71 also. And a lot of guys don't know that, that remember I mentioned this isn't the same as your traditional uh, Jimmy 671 blower case, all right? It's shorter. These run 12-inch rotors, where the 671 run, runs 15-inch rotors, right? So the V-Series has the 12-inch rotors, and a lot of guys don't know that TBS, the blower shop, have adopted this blower in their range. And what they've done was they've, um, you know, got a whole bunch of... You know, I presume Detroit Diesel, um, uh, what do you call it, um, blower rotors out there. And, you know, TBS obviously make their own rotors, we know that. And what they've done is they've actually kept the 6V series blower, but made their own traditional blower case just the same as the old jimmy cases right you know with the four bolt patterns on the side and that and they've actually still kept the name so if you jump on tbs you'll see this blower still going around it's just that it's not in its you know gmc case in its detroit diesel case sorry it's in their own you know cast or billet uh tbs case so that's pretty cool as well so you know a lot of guys don't know that and these blowers you know they flow good they're a little bit smaller than your traditional 671 as mentioned but yeah they they still hold their own they can still make power you know with these 12 inch length rotors yeah so there you go guys tbs's very own 6v 
71 supercharger you see there with their very own billet or cast case and with the traditional style um, uh, bolt pattern case and with their very own um, end plates and the end covers and things like that. So you can have a read there if you wish and TBS do use Detroit diesel gears and um, rotors in their own custom cases. But there's just something about the Detroit diesel factory case that gets me all the time. It just looks badass, I think. And, you know, um, you can get a fully converted over 8V71 supercharger ready to make some badass power for almost, like, half yeah, the cost. Yeah, I actually like the style of these V-series end plates. Hey, it's a full round, you know. Um, you know, again, you'll trim that um, and trim the bottom here just to get that cover plate full round to suit these blowers. I like the look of them. It reminds me of, you know, the SSI blowers where those guys only make, you know, their own cases and end plates to suit their own blowers and they got that full round, you know what I mean, end plate look with a lot of, um, you know, a lot of bolt pattern around it. It's just got that cool, you know, smooth round look. I just like it. Yeah, and here's a competition style SSI supercharger that has that similar end plate look that I'm talking about. And here's a stock Jimmy end plate um, compared to a um, SSI end plate. Um, here's a vintage 8V71 supercharger with badass twin Predator carbs on top. And here's another 6V71 on, mounted on top of a tunnel ram. And that's, you know, what you can do. You can mount these things on top of a tunnel ram that requires a custom uh, adapter plate on top that you can do yourself or even source out. And there's also adapter plates that go on to traditional um, 6 and 8 71 uh, supercharger manifolds that will accept the V-series the v angled studs and end plate bolts. Some steam fanatic.